All right, welcome. This is Daniel at the Assessment Toolbox. I'm going to take you through some multiplication today. I'm going to show you the standard algorithm, as some call it, and I'm going to give you a few examples. Each one will show you something a little bit different so that you can be ready to tackle any problems like this. So here's the first one I want to set up, and if you are comfortable doing multiplication like this one here that I just drew, then you are going to be able to do this. There's only one different thing to add, and you're going to be able to do a great job with this. So let's get started here. So we're going to start from the ones place of our bottom number. This six right here is going to multiply first by the ones place above it, and then by the tens place, the next place value over right there. So I'll show you that, six times four. And I'd encourage you to solve it with me as we go, because that strengthens your math muscles. Six times four is 24, but we don't write it down here, 24 like that, because there's another number in that place value that we're gonna have to multiply it by. So I'm gonna stick it up here as a reminder that I'm gonna add two more, because I already have a two in this place value from our 24. All right, six times two, this two right here is the next step, six times two, plus this two up here. Six times two is 12, plus two is 14. Now, if I had another number here, I'd add my one up there. But since I don't, I can put it down in the answer right here. Great, so six times 24 is what I just solved, 144. Now with this three, here's my one new step since I have a second digit. This three does not stand for just the number three, it stands for three tens or 30. And 30 times 24 is a different number. So how do I show that in my answer column? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick a zero right here and that's really clever because that's the zero from 30. What it does is now I can multiply just by three instead of 30 and this zero shifts all my next answers over one spot, putting them in the correct place value. So three times four is next. Three times four is 12. Since I have this number up here, I need to put my one up here. Now, warning sign right here. I've seen so many students get off track with this. They get confused because they add the numbers up here. Man, you've really, really got to cross this one off so it doesn't show it there, or really erase this one completely and then stick in your new one so you don't get confused. All right, I followed my own advice and erased that one there. Next step after three times four is three times two. Three times two is six plus what we have up here. Three times two is six plus one is seven. Ta-da! All right, so I just solved 30 times 24. And it's 30 because this zero is right there and that scooted these digits over to their correct place value. The last step is to rejoin these together. I had six times 24 plus 30 times 24. My answers are right here, so I need to add these guys together. So I set up my addition problem. Four plus zero is four. Four plus two is six. One plus seven is eight. And 864 is going to be my correct solution for 24 times 36. So that was when I have two digits in each spot. Let's increase the difficulty a little bit and have three digits in one of these. So here we go. This time I'm gonna have 307 multiplied by 92. So I begin with two times seven, then I'll do two times zero, then I'll do two times three. After that, I'll do a zero here to scoot the nine over since it's really 90 and then I'll do nine times seven, nine times zero, nine times three. Let's walk through it. Two times seven is 14. Since I have another number to multiply, my next digit goes above it. I'll add that to my answer. Two times zero is zero, but plus one gives us one. Lastly, two times the hundreds place, two times three is six. So this is my answer for two times 307. Now I need to multiply my 90. Remember, it's not just nine, it's 90. So we add this zero for 90 in the answer spot to scoot all of the digits over one spot right here. Nine times seven is 63. 
So I put the ones place here. Okay, be careful. Either fully cross this out or completely get rid of it so that your next digit is really obvious. Nine times zero is zero, plus six is six. That goes in my next spot down here. Lastly, nine times three is 27. Since there's nothing else to multiply, both digits go here. Let's set up the addition problem. All right, four plus zero is four. One plus three is four. Six plus six, 12. Carry the one. One plus seven is eight. And just a two by itself. Add the comma so it's neat. We can tell 28,244. All right, we're really rocking. I'm gonna increase the difficulty and give us three digits in both numbers. I'm gonna set up 161 multiplied by 354. And I'm gonna begin the same way. It'll get a little bit different in the 300s, but if you've been figuring out with the tens how we add a single zero right there, maybe you're figuring out what we're gonna do with the hundreds place. Let's begin. Four times one is four. Four times six, 24. Carry the two, since there's another one to multiply. Four times one is four, plus two is six. That shows us four times 161 in that column. All right, next one is five, but it's really 50. And to show that, we add a zero right here, and this shifts all the numbers over one spot so that we're in the tens place. That's where we'll begin, five times one, is five. Five times six is 30. I put it up here because there's another number to multiply. Because if I put that three right here, I'd have to add another number to it right here with five times one. And it's like, where do I put it? Do I put it there? And it gets confusing and throws off my organization. So that's why I put it up here. Five times one is five plus three is eight. And we're done with that. So this row shows us 50. It's not five times, it's 50 because it's in that place. So we need this last row to show us 300 times because this stands for 300, not three ones, not three tens, but 300. So how do we show that? Well, to scoot to the tens place, we added one zero. To scoot to the hundreds place, that's two spots over. And so we're going to add two zeros here. Now we're beginning in the same row as the number up here. That's the hundreds place. So these two zeros offset us, shift us over, so we're beginning in the hundreds place. Three times one is three. Three times six is 18. It's time for some erasing, because I don't want to get this problem wrong just because I got lazy. All right, there's my one from 18. Three times one is three, plus one is four. So each of these rows shows one of my digits multiplying by the 161. We're gonna combine these back together to get one final answer. Four plus a couple zeros, still four. Four plus five plus zeros, nine. That's just nice how many zeros there are. Six plus zero plus three is nine again. Nothing plus eight plus eight is 16. Carry the one, one plus four is five. Where does the comma go? Should be a decimal if I had one. One, two, three spots over. 56,994. We are rolling. Now I'm gonna show you one last one. I'm gonna put a fourth digit into one of these numbers, show you an ultra long one. So let's explore that. Let's put 2,045 up here and multiply it by 98. We begin the same way. We have eight ones that we're multiplying by. So I'm gonna multiply eight by each of those in order and I just keep working my way left. Eight times five is 40, put the four up here. Eight times four is 32, plus four is 36. Put the three up here. Eight times zero plus three is just three. And eight times two is our last one, and that's 16. Nothing left to multiply, so I can put my last digit here. All right, this nine, it really stands for what? 90, so we show that with that zero there. Nine times five is 45. Okay, lucky me, there's a four here already. I'm going to keep it and stay organized in my mind. Nine times four is 36, plus four is 40. 
So now I have a four going up here. I need to really cross this guy out. Better yet is to erase it all the way. Nine times zero plus four is just four. Nine times two is 18. Now we're gonna add these together. So this top row shows us eight times 2045, and this bottom row shows us 90 times 2045. Let's combine these together to get our final answer. Zero plus zero is zero. Six plus five is 11, carry the one. One plus three is four. Six plus four is 10. One plus one plus eight is the same as two plus eight is 10. And one plus one is two. If I had a decimal, it'd be right here. So the comma will go one, two, three spots over. 200,410. All right, so we did it. That was a lot of multiplication. Each one had a slightly different challenge. Now the great thing is this is a video. If you need to go back to any part and rewatch it, you can. If you're still getting stuck, ask your teacher or leave a comment. But I think you are ready to tackle and dominate problems like this, multiplying multi-digit numbers. Go for it.